In this video, we will show you how to prepare and determine optimal sample inputs for any Invitrogen Quantigene assay. The Invitrogen Quantigene sample processing kits are designed for use with the Quantigene singleplex assay for quantification of RNA or DNA targets, or for the Quantigene plex assay for quantification of RNA targets. The sample processing kit for cultured cells consists of concentrated lysis mixture and proteinase K. Later in this video, we will show you how to prepare working lysis mixture by adding proteinase K, and also how to prepare the diluted working lysis mixture. You can also refer to the user guide at the URL shown here. The lysis mixture provides the proper ionic conditions for the overnight hybridization in the quantigene assays. The final concentration of lysis mixture should always be 33%. Add working lysis mixture directly to media with cultured cells to achieve a final concentration of lysis mixture of 33%. Or consider removing media and adding diluted working lysis mixture directly to pelleted cells, which will also result in a final concentration of lysis mixture of 33%. An important consideration when preparing cell lysates for quantigene assays is cell concentration. For most transformed cell lines, the recommended final concentration of cells is 400 cells per microliter of final lysate. Certain primary cells, such as PBMCs, should be lysed at 1,000 cells per microliter. Complete lysis is key to optimal assay performance. You can use a manual or automated cell counter, such as the Invitrogen Countess 3 automated cell counter, to determine the concentration of cells. Growing your cells in a 96 well or 384 well plate format and using multi-channel pipettes and reagent reservoirs allows for an easy and efficient workflow and a faster time to results, as long as this format is appropriate for your specific cell type and experiment. To lyse cells in a 96 well plate format, first pre-warm the lysis mixture at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes followed by gentle swirling. First, we will walk you through the standard procedure for preparing cell lysates according to the product information sheet for the Quantigene sample processing kit for cultured cells. For this procedure, add lysis mixture directly to the media. First, prepare the working lysis mixture by adding 10 microliters of proteinase K to each milliliter of lysis mixture required. Make sure to always reach a final working solution of lysis mixture of 33%. In this example, add 50 microliters of working lysis mixture to 100 microliters of cells in cultured media per well. As a reminder, the final concentration of common transformed cell lines is 400 cells per microliter of lysis volume. Thoroughly resuspend the contents of each well by pipetting up and down 10 to 15 times. Avoid introducing bubbles and change tips. Cover the plate with a lid. Incubate at 50 to 55 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes to lyse the cells. After incubation, resuspend contents of each well with a pipette 10 to 15 times and change tips. The cell lysate should be clear and non-viscous. The viscosity of the lysate should be similar to the viscosity of the lysis mixture. An incompletely lysed sample will appear highly viscous, requiring additional diluted lysis mixture or a longer period of lysis at 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. Use lysates immediately in a quantigene singleplex or quantigene plex assay or store at negative 80 degrees Celsius for future use. Next, we will walk you through the procedure on how to prepare cell lysates when wells have varying amounts of media or preparing cell lysates from fresh or frozen cell pellets. If you have varying amounts of media per well, carefully aspirate media from the culture dish. Make sure to avoid aspirating cells. If you wish to collect the culture media for other measurements, store in a separate tube on ice for later use. 
Once you have cell pellets prepared, you will then need to directly lyse the cells in each well with diluted working lysis mixture at a working concentration of 33%. Use previously warmed lysis mixture to prepare the diluted working lysis mixture by making enough volume for 150 microliters per well. To do so, first make the working lysis mixture by adding 10 microliters of proteinase K to each milliliter of lysis mixture. Then prepare the diluted working lysis mixture by adding two parts nuclease free water to one part of prepared working lysis mixture to reach the recommended lysis concentration depending on the type of cells. Remember that you will need 80 microliters of lysate sample per well in the quantigene assays and it is highly recommended to run technical replicates. Add an appropriate volume of diluted working lysis mixture to achieve the desired lysate concentration of cells per microliter. For common cell lines, the recommended lysis concentration is 400 cells per microliter, and for smaller cells such as PBMCs, the recommended concentration is 1,000 cells per microliter. Use your desired plate format to achieve required volumes and cell concentrations. Thoroughly mix the contents of each well by pipetting up and down 10 to 15 times. Avoid introducing bubbles and make sure to change tips. Cover the plate with a lid and incubate at 50 to 55 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes to lyse the cells. After incubation, mix the contents of each well by pipetting up and down 10 to 15 times. Examine cells under a microscope to ensure complete cell lysis. The cell lysate should be clear and non-viscous. The viscosity of the lysate should be similar to the viscosity of the lysis mixture. High viscosity of the lysate and incomplete lysis of the sample can cause poor assay performance, which can also be caused by the presence of unsheared genomic DNA. Additional pipetting, sonication, or freezing of the sample can aid in shearing the genomic DNA and reducing the viscosity of the sample. Use lysates immediately in a quantigene singleplex or quantigene plex assay or store at negative 80 degrees Celsius for later use. Refer to the quantigene sample processing kit product information sheet for preparing lysates from difficult to lyse cell lines, cells grown in 3D matrix, PBMCs, and frozen cell pellets. In the next part of this video, we will show you how to determine the optimal sample input for the assay. For quantigene singleplex, a chemiluminescent signal is detected with a plate reader like the Thermoscientific VarioScan Lux Multimode Microplate Reader, whereas the signal in the quantigene plex assay is fluorescent and detected with a Luminex instrument. For every new quantigene probe set and sample type, run a set of serial dilutions to determine the optimal sample input for quantigene singleplex and plex assays. For most cell lines, it is recommended that you run a minimum of four three-fold dilutions to verify that the cell concentration used places you within the linear range for each gene target. The expected fold change of assay signal should match the observed fold change for the dilution series. For example, a three-fold dilution should equal a three-fold drop in the signal of the target gene. If the signal is saturated at the neat concentration, meaning 1x or undiluted, as shown for gene target A, then a three-fold dilution should produce a less than three-fold drop in background subtracted signal. The optimal sample input is determined as the highest cell concentration that generates a signal in the linear range for each target. In this, the optimal concentration is achieved by a three-fold dilution because gene target A is saturated at the neat concentration. If the neat or undiluted concentration is equal to 400 cells per microliter, then the optimal sample input for this quantigene assay would be approximately 133 cells per microliter, or a threefold dilution, as indicated by the 0.3 concentration on the graph. Consider collecting more data points by measuring secreted cytokines, chemokines, and growth factors of the cells under investigation. 
Simply collect the supernatant of your cell culture experiment for use in in vitro gen procardoplex immunoassays or ELISAs for measurement of extracellular secreted proteins. Thank you for watching this video. To find out more information about Quantagene singleplex and plex assays, visit thermofisher.com forward slash Quantagene.